Hello everyone! So today I am going to show you a little guide or what you can call a tutorial on how to make your client looks look more and more fresher than it is today by adding your custom backgrounds and um, loading bar and even buttons when you are playing the game. Uh, to show you what I mean, let's log into the game. Um, so you can have a look at it yourself. You can make everything custom in this one, in this add-on. And we're going to go through every little detail today. And I'm going to tell and explain the best I can how you do it. So okay, here we go into the game. The first thing you see is standard terms and condition of use. But you see something new, don't you? <laughs> There's a confirm and cancel button, button but it's changed. It's like blue. <laughs> uh, I have made this myself because uh, I wanted to like put a little personal style into uh, my client, which I now can do uh, by edit editing the buttons here. So press on confirm and we will get into the main interface thing here and my account name and my password and custom buttons <laughs> also here it's very nice let me log in uh, obtaining server list here we go and I also have this blue uh, kind of highlight button or line here to choose what server I want to play on Press on Isildur, which is my main server. I need my secondary password. There we go. So yeah, this is my uh, kind of interface. Uh, uh, what's called uh, character selection uh, interface, where I have this blue bar with a little bit of custom uh, design on. Even buttons and buttons here is still the same thing, but yeah, this is my everyday use now, and I have changed it to how I want it myself. But it's not only that, when you enter the world, you will get loading screens with custom pictures um, and a custom loading bar. <laughs> which you can make yourself. You can design everything how you self want it to be. Um, yeah, this, this is just one of 12 images that will be popping up on my loading screen um, when I'm going into the game, when I'm going to an instance, when I'm dying and stuff. Um, let me show you another example. Let's get into my house over here. And let's see if there's a different one. I think that's 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 many many different ones here. Let's go into the game. Enter my house. It, yeah, and a different loading screen with the same loading bar. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Uh, and uh, many of you have requested me to make a video about it, and I had said a long time that I would do it. So now it's the time to do it. So yeah, uh, if you wonder about this this bar down here then is my uh, custom <laughs> custom um, art button uh, add-on there's an add-on you can get and uh, uh, a different add-on yeah again but okay so we got the load the screen we got the buttons we go got all the good stuff yeah and I'm gonna show you now how you get this add-on and how you can customize that on the way you want it so let's get out of the game um, I will upload the add-on itself uh, to to the web where you can download it, it yourself. Uh, but it will be my add-on. It will be my custom um, uh, design on it. So you have to change it yourself if if you want to change it um, to make it your own. Um, the file is going to be here. On filehosting.org, I will put the link in the description. And you have to download this, and you have to put your email address in here, accept, and request a download link. And you will get the download link, and you will be able to download the software. 
or the the add-on which looks like this the login logging looks like this and you extract it to you can extract it to desktop like I have done here to my desktop and you'll get this yeah um, but first of all where do we put put it we put it on let me see here runes of magic interface but you don't put it in add-ons you put it right outside the, the folder called add-ons you put it here log in and in login you have lots of maps which you can go in and take a look at uh, Enable to look at files, you need to have a program called TGA Viewer. I will put a link in the description of all the programs you need. You need this program here. Um, see, I don't think I can open it, it up without any files actually. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, wrong one. Here we go. So, if I want to do something with this, I will get it up here. I will see what it looks like and I will get the right um, kind of measurement on it and that is very important when you edit editing files and when you make it making it your own that you have the right measurement and you have the right file type like now this is TK, TJ TJ uh, character selection thing you can change uh, different things like buttons uh, yeah like this uh, Thing here, I don't, I don't want to mess too much about it. Um, with, with it, I mean, because you can <laughs> really mess up your um, uh, client by have to do uh, many wrong things, kind of. Um, but the thing I have been focusing most, most on is loading bar, and the bar, the loading bar, kind of um, border is kind of normal, and the bar fill. It's just a picture. This is the picture I have in my loading bar, and it gets it kind of gets stretched out when you are using it. But it have to be the right measurement and stuff. Um, the other things I have been looking at is the uh, background screens, which is this. This is just a normal P uh, GPR uh, file. You can look at all my different. Uh, loading screens that that I have in this client makes it a little bit unique and uh, kind of personal for me. But yeah, how do we do this? How do we edit stuff? How do we do things like this? Uh, <laughs> how do I make another picture into the client? Uh, it's a good question. First of all, you need TGA viewer to view the files to get the right measurement and stuff. And then you need um, easy to convert GPR to DDS and easy to convert P PGN, no, PNG to T T TGA. Yeah. Um, those are available on the web, or you can also use uh, online um, programs or kind of convert online as well. But I like to have like programs like this. Uh, on my desktop, so I can just put like a file in here, and I can have output folder there, and boom, and you have like converted the image from GPR to DDS or to TJ and stuff like that. So yeah, how do we do this? Well, let's go for example on loading bar, loading bar bar fill. This is the one I'm using now. Uh, if I want to change that up, I'm gonna use uh, if like. See if we do um, um, not pad, yeah, and you write like sixty four x thirty two. There we got the measurement. Good. And now what do we do? Well, we go on the web or on Paint. You can go on Paint actually. Let's just, just use Paint. Paint, um, and you have to change the size of it. Then go in pixel, and we had uh, 64, 32, 64, 32, 
no, don't. 64 to the true. Okay. So there is the uh, little piece of image you want, whatever you want it to be, on your loading bar. Um, the kind of the looks on this loading bar looks pretty bad. It looks pretty bad. Um, so you have to change or have have to choose a picture that have some uh, good uh, kind of <laughs> that looks good for you. So yeah, let's let's just do that. That's okay for me. Okay. So let's uh, uh, save this file as a PGN and let's save it on a desktop and we call it uh, test. Okay, we got a test file. And I have this uh, uh, map open. You have the test file here. Um, and then we want to, uh, this, this PJ, we want to change it to, wait, let me just check. <laughs> uh, this is TJA file. Uh, so go on uh, PJ to TJA. Choose file. You see desktop. Oh, where is it? Uh, all files. Test. Open. Convert. Okay, so now we got a TGI file here. It looks like that. 64, 32. Looks like that. And I'm just gonna actually take a copy of this one. <laughs> Of the loading bar file and like put it here I think uh, or wait let me open new map actually See, like that put the file in here post it there so I have it and then you want to take loading bar file change the name copy the name let, leave it be go on test change name to on test kaboom there we go and then we want to uh, cut it out Paste it, Le replace the file, and now we've got this file in my uh, my add-on kind of. Let's open up Bruce Magic again. Let's uh, go through the loading bar and see if it works. That's the same technique we use on buttons. The same technique we use on uh, uh, loading screens, the background. And every little small details you want to add to this game, but be be careful because if you do something wrong, if there is a wrong measurement of something, you will screw up the, your client and you won't be able to log into the game. So that is not good. So let's see. Here we go. Let's go and sell there. To paste my password again is still there. Enter a C on loading bar. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> so now we got a new loading bar. It looks it, it gets stretched, but this is how you do it. This is how you do it with every every file. You have to uh, get the right measurement, uh, the right file type, uh, the right name, replace it, and you will have your own personal, customized um, Runes of Magic client. It's a very nice add-on and I don't think there's any uh, real uh, kind of author or any developer out or there's the developer of course but there's there's no such add-on as I know on off from before. Um, I can tell you that this add-on uh, I did not create myself. I random randomly found this when I was going through uh, some private servers some months ago, and I decided to make it personally to add it into the game and see if it works worked on kind of the uh, the official rules of magic, and it did. So there you go, there you go. Let's enter the house again, just for the fun of it. <laughs> Oh, look at this. And this beautiful... 
<laughs> loading bar. I'm going to change it back because I like the one, other one better. So yeah, so there you have it. So I will put the link in the description of this um, add-on, and I will put also these programs in the description, so you can find it yourself. And yeah, go crazy, have fun with it. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say, I guess. Let me see. So the right thing. Um, what's this, by the way? I was just gonna check. Yeah, this is like the the bar and stuff. Uh, yeah, go crazy, have fun, enjoy making this, and of, remember to don't put it in add-on, but put it right outside of add-ons. Okay, <laughs> so I hope this uh, little guide showed you how to make this uh, little add-on work for you. And hopefully, if you have any questions, and uh, hopefully it works, but it, hope if you have any questions about this add-on, leave a comment or something, and I will help you out the best I can <sighs> to make it work for you as well. So, yeah. Have fun, everyone, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>